Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries. Coming to you guys today um, with my little two cents on the George Floyd murder. So yeah, um, let's just get right into it. Um, I did not watch the video because I just couldn't bring myself to watch the video. I saw snippets um, of it and I saw pictures of it and that was just enough to break my heart. For this man and his family regardless of why the cops got called um, they said it was because he had counterfeit money anything like that I don't feel like that warranted for his death for his murder for his public execution what bothered me aside from that was the demeanor of ex-officer Chauvin it was really one of privilege the look on his face was to say like, yeah, I'm killing him and I know I'm killing him and I hear y'all telling me I'm killing him, but I don't care. I'm still do. I'm still going to do it. He kept his hands in his pocket. I'm um, in the, the snippets that I saw. Almost like, you know, I wish one of y'all would try to run up on me. And it's just like, at no point in time did he think to maybe, you know, like take your knee off him even after the man was saying that he couldn't breathe and he's like you know um i was told that he said like if you can't if you can talk you can breathe and it's like many people muster up all of the strength that they have to say some last words in hopes of being saved people who are drowning when they go underwater and they get that little bit of air to come back up they'll use that little bit of effort that little bit of breath to say you know help me and so when that's what he did, he was told, like, if you can talk, you can breathe. And it's like just a complete disregard for human life, for black life. And then you find out that this is something that he's done in the past. Where he's killed other people in the past, murdered other people in the past. And he's had no type of anything happen to him. It's ridiculous. And then now they, they show footage of three cops being on top of him so even if he was able to get the other two off he still had if, even if he was able to get the uh ex-officer Chauvin off of him he still had to deal with two other people on top of him and who's to say that if he was actually able to get Chauvin off of his neck that Chauvin wouldn't have shot him saying that he was resisting arrest he was already in handcuffs it just goes to show you how much our black lives don't matter it just goes to show you how much we are hated and villainized and criminalized in this society. I don't care what he did. I don't care what he did. He didn't deserve that, especially considering what he, what they accused him of doing was so petty. It was so absolutely petty. It didn't even warrant for that type of reaction, in all honesty. It's like, okay, so he... The counterfeit twenty or fifty dollar bill. I could say if he wrote a check for like four hundred and fifty billion dollars or four hundred and fifty million dollars and he got the money and then he spent the money and then you guys went to arrest him and then he was running from you guys. Then I could then I could understand you being so aggressive with him, still not with the knee on the neck. But I could see you being like aggressive towards a person that's actually resisting arrest, which he was not doing. So all of this happens. And all the other races, actually, I'm thinking they're, I, I think they actually are seeing like, okay, well, you know what? They really haven't been just making stuff up because y'all sat there and killed this man. And even after he stopped talking, even after he stopped breathing, even after he stopped moving, even when the paramedics came, you still kept your knee on his neck. Even when you saw blood coming out of him, even when he urinated on himself. Like my mom told me like that he that he urinated on himself. Again, I didn't see the video, but like that's what I was told. It's like even after you saw that, like you like still? She told me that after um he passed away, like they when they went to put him on the 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 stretcher, like he still like no kind of regard for human life. And he really thought that he was going to go home and just live another day and just be that cop for another day because he's gotten away with it for so long. So then they're, they, the rioting started. 
because of course it should have so now they're rioting and they're looting and now what i'm saying is so many people who are not talking about the fact that we're rioting and looting because george floyd was murdered they're like oh you know you guys are tearing up the businesses and you know that doesn't have anything to do with the george floyd murder and to me i feel like it's all one and the same because when we were marching peacefully and holding hands and singing kubaya and we shall overcome y'all wasn't listening to us y'all let us walk y'all still was macing us y'all still was doing all of the bogus stuff that y'all been doing but now that we tearing up stuff now that we breaking stuff now that we looting now that we flipping over police cars and now that we fighting the cops now that we throwing stuff at them and creating explosives and, and setting police stations on fire now now we now we gonna be the people now we're going to be the people that y'all been telling us we are this whole time. Not to mention that the people that have been doing a lot of the looting that I have been seeing do not look like me. Now that is besides the point, but to me, that also goes to show that there are also other races who are tired of this. One second, you guys. My battery about to die and I'm trying to get this out real quick. So that's what it's showing me. It's showing me that other races are also tired of the racism. So yeah, we out here looting. Yeah, we out here rioting. Because y'all didn't want to listen to us when we was trying to be peaceful. Now we about to do all of the stuff that y'all don't want us to do. Because at the end of the day, for some reason, cops seem to forget that the people, we gave them the respect of abiding by their rules we gave them to the respect to have the power over us but at the end of the day there will always be more of us than there are of them there are always there, there are more people that are not in the military than there are there are more people that are not cops than there are cops we allowed them the respect we gave them the respect to police us and this is what you do with the power that we gave you you abuse it this man murdered this man in broad daylight in front of a bunch of people while being recorded from beginning to end. And he went home and he sat at home. Y'all didn't even arrest this man right away. But y'all fired all four of them quick. What y'all fire them for? If they did nothing wrong that warranted them to be arrested, then why did you fire them? Because for whatever they got fired for, that's what they should have went to jail for. Because I'm sure it was something like excessive force or something like that. Then that's what they should have went to jail for. Because if anybody else commit a crime out here, they go to jail and they sit in jail until charges are brought up against them. They don't get to go home and get their affairs in order. And oh, when we figure out what we're going to charge you with, then you can go and then we'll come and pick you up and take you to jail. No. You're going to jail right then until we figure out what, what we're going to charge you with. You're about to stay in jail. But they didn't do that to him because he's a cop. We all know why. It's because he's a cop. So it's like a lot of these people are like, you know, these businesses, they have anything to do with it. But at the end of the day, a lot of these businesses are speaking out and they're like, we get it. We understand. They're getting hit in their pockets. The world is getting hit in their pockets. It's not about us riding these businesses. It's about the fact that if y'all don't want to hear us, then y'all y'all want to take our rights away. We're going to take y'all money away. We're going to burn these buildings down. We're going to take all of this stuff out these stores. Y'all not finna make no money. Y'all finna spend money rebuilding this stuff in hopes that we come back and shop. We gonna hit y'all in y'all pockets because that's the only way that people, that the people at the top care. That's the only, that's the only way that they're gonna care is if we hit them in their pockets. So we got a lot of these people on Instagram whose business got burned down and they're like, we get it. We just gonna rebuild. Target. Target got hit bogus. Target like we standing with George Floyd. Black Lives Matter. We understand. We just gonna rebuild. So it comes a time where it's just like, what do y'all want us to do? We already did the peaceful stuff. We already did that. We already did that. It's like, it's, it goes back to that whole analogy where, because a lot of people are talking about, you know, all cops are not bad cops. And I get that. I don't think all cops are bad cops. But it goes to that same analogy that they used with COVID-19 when they were like, hey, if I give you a bag of Skittles and I tell you out of this whole bag, three of these Skittles will kill you you ain't gonna eat none of the skittles you're gonna assume all of the skittles could kill you it's the same thing with the cops yeah there are good cops but if you encounter more bad cops you're you're more prone to believe that all cops are bad cops it's the same it's the same premise 
You can't tell us that there are good cops out here, but all our encounters are with bad cops. I, for one, have had good encounters with cops. I've gotten tickets. They've been polite, haven't had any real issues. Go to court, ticket gets thrown out. But my other friends who look like me, they haven't had those same interactions. I have family members who haven't had those same interactions with cops. They've had the interactions with cops that everybody else has had with cops. So it's just one of those things where it's like people, I'm noticing that a lot of people are placing more emphasis on the fact that things are getting rioted and looted than the fact of why we are rioting and looting. Because this all came from the fact that y'all did not take this man to jail right away. But y'all fired him right away. What did you fire him for? What did you fire all four of them for? You fired everybody that came on that call. You fired all of them. Not only that, but we're still waiting for the other three men to be arrested and charged. So this is not over. They're still going to be right in the loot. And let me tell you, you think it's bad? Keep taking too long to arrest the rest of the three of the guys. Not give these men the, the time that they that they deserve to get. And God forbid if y'all let these men off. The world as we know it is going to change. Nobody's going to care about cops. They already knocking cops off. Knock, knocking cops out. Full riot gear. Knocks, cops out. Sleep. Knocked out. In Chicago, 100 plus some cops got sent to the emergency room in the hospital right now with the pandemic going on. We don't care no more. We gave y'all y'all power and this is what y'all did with it. This is what y'all did with it. So it, it comes to a point where you have to look at cops as a whole. It's, it's bad black cops. It's bad white cops. It's a lot of bad cops of all races. And, and now we actually do have to look at cops and it's like, you know, nah, we're not judging y'all on the color of y'all skin no more. But we are judging y'all on the content of y'all character. And y'all bogus. The majority of y'all are bogus. And any good cops that stands by and says nothing when they see bad cops doing bad things, you're, you're a bad cop as well. So I feel like the rioting needs to happen. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. If it all if it all needs to burn down for people to understand this ain't this ain't what you what you about to do to us, this is not what's about to happen. They got the Amish people protesting. I didn't even know they had TVs. This is how deep it's gotten. All races are coming out for Black Lives Matter, and anybody who you got to explain Black Lives Matter to, you need to cut them off too. Cause it's 2020, and we still should not have to explain what the Black Lives Movement is really about. So I go on and on about this, but I'm trying to keep this short. So that's it, y'all. If you guys like this video, you just like my vibe, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time we meet, be the change that you want to see.